what's up y'all welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm coming with some new content okay bring you a little di1 okay i'm gonna show you how to turn this old blanket into a cute little two-piece set okay so what you're gonna need is a skirt to use as a template and also a bra some scissors a pencil you don't need that crochet hook no more i'll explain later some paper and of course your fabric which i'm using this old blanket and you also need a sewing machine and pins and thread but you know obviously but if you don't know how to sew then you can just do all the other steps and then you can ask your mom your auntie your grandma i'm sure they know how to sew and then you can do all the other steps and they can do the sewing part okay so now i'm gonna mark the top of my bra and um i marked halfway down the bottom because um i need to be that long i probably should have but um anyway i just drew a straight line across to where the end need to stop for each cup and then i'm taking my straight edge and connecting those lines to make my triangle because I wanted, you know, a triangle shape to my top. So now you just want to take your two pieces of paper and stack them on top of each other so that your cups are symmetrical and cut out that triangle shape that you made and that will be used as your template for your cups. Also, y'all, I want to make a quick little disclaimer before we get started on the sewing and all that. This is my first time ever making an outfit um, on a sewing machine anyway. Um, so, I really don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time ever doing this. I'm no expert at this by all means. I'm not perfect at it. Um, there's some stuff I could have did better on the top, I know, so that it would look more professional. Some things I probably could have did differently. I think the skirt turned out pretty good. But the top, I know I could have did some things better. But, yeah, this is my first time doing this. I'm a beginner. I'm still learning. So, don't attack me, please. Okay, I'm still learning. So you wanna take your blanket and fold it in half cause you're gonna need two pieces for each cup. And you're gonna lay your template that you made um, of your cups and cut that out. You wanna cut off you know, a little bit extra for seam allowance. I did like half an inch. I probably should've did an inch cause my cups did come out a little bit smaller than I wanted them to. I mean, I still have um, really small boobs anyway. So I knew it would still fit, but I still want a little bit more coverage than I got. But anyway, you just want to do that for both cups and then you should have four pieces just like this. So now you want to do your straps for your top. Um, I didn't really measure this, I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, just cut straight across and I don't know why I made it this wide so I cut it in half. I really don't know why I did that but anyway, um, you just need these two pieces for your straps. You don't need that other piece. So now you're going to take your skirt and do the same thing that you did with your bra templates and just cut that out you know leave some extra space for seam allowance and i also went a little bit longer than the actual skirt because i wanted my skirt a little bit longer than this one because this skirt actually is a little short on me so yeah just cut that out and you'll have your front and your back of your skirt so I'm showing you here, you can see where I purposely cut at the end of the blanket for the top of the skirt so that the edges will already be, you know, sewn and clean and seamless. So you want to do that for the bottom of your skirt. So fold it over like I just showed you and then just sew that down on the bottom of your skirt for your front and back pieces. So your edges are clean and seamless. You know, you don't want no frayed edges, nothing like that. So um, you want to look professional. You don't want to look like you did it. You you know you did it. You don't tell people you did it, but you want to look you know professional. You know what I'm saying? So just do that for your front and back pieces for your skirt. So now it's time to put your skirt together. Ew. So you're gonna take your bottom piece. Um, I don't know if that's the front or the back. But anyway, the piece that's on the bottom needs to be right side up, and whatever piece is on top needs to be right side down. You're just gonna sew along the sides where I'm showing you here and your skirt will be completed. By the way, I'm using a C-stitch for this whole project. Um, I don't even know what that means, but I just know you know there's different levels of stitches. Um, the designs come out different for each one. I don't know. Okay, I'm using a C-stitch, that's all I'm telling you. And boom, so your skirt is complete. So you're going to flip it inside out. And now you have seamless edges along your skirt. Look at that. Looking all professional. So now we're going to do your straps. So we're going to take the pieces that we cut up for our straps and fold that in half. And you're just going to sew right down the middle because you really don't need them that wide. And you're just going to cut off, you know, all the excess fabric because, you know, you really don't need all that. It doesn't need to be that wide unless you want it that wide. But um, I just sew it right down the middle and cut off the excess fabric. So 
So here I am doing the same thing for the second strap, just sewing down the middle and then cutting off the excess fabric. So once you've completed this step for both straps, you're gonna wanna turn your straps inside out so that your edges are seamless. Now you cannot do this by hand. It's not gonna work, it's not possible. So this is the part with the crochet hook I was telling you about. I didn't use it because it didn't work out. It was too short and too wide to fit through my strap. So I used a wire hanger. So you need to cut a hole on the top of your fabric and I used a wire hanger and curved the end to make a little hook and you're gonna feed it through your strap and once the hook part is over the top of the fabric, then you're gonna insert the hook through the hole. You're gonna pull your fabric to the left with your left hand and then with your right hand, you're gonna pull it to the right until the hook is all the way through the other side and your fabric is inside out. Now, I hope that made sense and it probably didn't because it sounded like a mouthful just hearing it while I'm saying it, but I don't know, this is the best I could do to explain it. I didn't have no loop turn. You might be better off buying that and following their instructions, but all I have is a wire hanger, so that's what we're using and it turned out the same and it's the same concept. So now you have your seamless little straps that you flipped inside out with a wire hanger. And of course you want to do that to both straps. So now you want to attach your straps to your cup. So you're going to take the bottom piece and have it right side up. Well, this fabric, it don't matter. There's no right side, but right side up, top piece, right side down. And you want to sandwich your strap in between there and you're going to sew each side. So now you should have something that looks like this and you're gonna flip it inside out and now your strap is attached to your cups. Yes! So then of course you wanna just repeat that on your other cup and here I am just showing you that again one more time. So I completely forgot to mention this in the intro, but you need to cut a third strip of fabric like you did for the straps, but you want to make it long enough to go around your waist. And you're just going to do the same thing that you did with the straps, just sewing it down the middle, cutting off the excess fabric, flipping it inside out. So now we're going back to the cup. So you're gonna to wanna to flip over the bottom edge and sew that up that we left open so that your edges are clean and seamless. Now, after this point in the project, this is where I could have did things better. Um, I don't know what it is that I could have done better or differently, but I know I could have did something better so that it looked neater. But anyway, you're gonna to wanna to do your casing for your strings to tie around your waist. So I'm just showing you here where you need to sew down this piece of fabric. Um, I just took this piece and put on top of the cups on the inside of the cups and then I just sewed across the bottom and then cut off the excess and then I left a gap so that you know you can fit your strings through and then sew it across the top of that. So here I am just doing the same thing on the other cup, just sewing across the bottom, that piece of fabric, and then sewing across the top and, you know, leaving that gap so that your strings can fit through. So this is what everything should be looking like. So now you're going to take that string that you did for your waist and attach it to a safety pin and feed it through those gaps that you left in your cups. And then that's it. And you can go try it on. So here's everything. Here's the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it turned out pretty good for my first outfit. But um, yeah, let me know if y'all like this little DIY segment. And make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.